Hey YouTube, it's Charlie from Reader Turned Writer. Today I am talking about writing habits. Should you have one? And what counts towards your writing habit? So this is kind of a topic that I have been thinking about recently, this last week for a couple of reasons, and I thought I would just jump on since my house is semi-quiet right now, my baby's asleep, my kids are off playing somewhere, and my husband's working in the yard. And so I'm just going to do like a really casual video. I probably will not even edit this, so I don't really know where this is going to take us or you get to see all my ums and pauses while I'm thinking and looking out the window right there and all of that good stuff. <sighs> so, um, one of the reasons I was thinking about this, I, I film and edit my videos a week in advance and one of the videos I filmed this week to upload next week is a video talking about a book that I really like called Atomic Habits. I think it's a really useful book. I have loved the way that it has helped me change things in my life. And I applied it to how you would create a, how you could use the principles from the book to create a writing habit because I, that's what I've done. Oh, here comes one of my daughters. <laughs> Nope, she's just running into the bathroom. She's really proud that she's potty trained now. Anyways, so I, I made that video and then literally right after, I can't remember if it was right after filming it or right after editing it, but I went onto YouTube and I saw Alexa Dunn's video on author confessions. And I like, I really like Alexa Dunn's channel and um, I was watching it and she was talking one of her confessions was that she doesn't write every day. As a published author who makes some money off of her books, and she has two books already published and then one that is in the process of being published right now, and she said that her confession was she doesn't write every day. But as she talked about it, what she meant was she doesn't write words on a draft, on a first draft, a new draft every day. And she talked about brainstorming and editing and all of the different things that she does while she's refilling her creative juices. And that was interesting to me because I actually count, I count a lot of those things for writing towards my like streak of my habits, of my habit, my writing habit. <laughs> um, so just thinking about should you write every day and it's it's weird to me when people say that, that writing every day like, stunts their creativity or it's, it it's not, doesn't work for them. And it could just be a personality difference. I'm sure it is. I'm very orderly, very into routines and checklists and schedules, and I always have been. Um, and so having like a, a set routine really helps me. And that's part of the reason that I really like writing every day. But the other reason that I like writing Oh, a notification. Um, the other reason that I love writing every day is because I really believe in the power of momentum. I recently read a book called The Compound Effect, which was pretty good. I like Atomic Habits more, but it, it still had some good principles in it, and it talked about momentum. Momentum is the idea that when you do a small act consistently, you gain momentum with it, until finally you get the result. So it's like an ice cube. You know, um, an ice cube has to reach, what is it like? I don't actually know how warm an ice cube has to get to melt like 36 degrees or, no, 34? Is it 34 degrees? I think it is. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. That's silly that I don't know that. But, so, if, a, if, a, if an ice cube has to reach 34%, no, 30 degrees in order to melt then you know you, you set it on the counter and it's 29 degrees and it's not melting so you turn it up and it's 30 degrees well it's still not melting and then you turn it up to 31 and then you turn it up to 32 then you turn it up to 33 and it's still it doesn't even look like it started melting it's just sitting there totally frozen until it hits 34 and then all of a sudden it's melting but you could never have gotten it there to the melting point unless unless the the temperature 
unless you had worked your way up to that degree. Unless if it hadn't, if it had never hit 29 degrees, it would never have hit 34 degrees, and it never would have melted. And that's kind of how habits are. We we put in these small actions. We make our bed every day. We write 500 words every day. We say no to that extra dessert at night every day. And pretty soon, you know, the the effects are huge. Like. Um, the, the compound effect gives the example of two men, and it talks about a lot of different things in their lives, but one of the things that, one, one of the men cuts out 500 calories a day, and the other one, he doesn't cut out 500 calories a day, and he's actually eating extra calories because he gets really into baking, and he bakes a lot of treats for his family. And so then he's eating a lot of treats, and an, basically an extra 500 calories a day. So he gains 30 pounds. Well, the other guy, over the course of like, I don't know, I can't remember if it was like two years. Well, the other guy, he loses 30 pounds over the course of those two years. That's a 60 pound difference between the two of them for that one small change. And that's so crazy to me. And so that's why I feel like writing every day, even if you don't, even if you don't, you know, necessarily have like, like, you don't have to be productive every single day. You don't have to put stuff, you don't have to write words every single day. You don't even have to, like, actually type out words on your draft every day if that doesn't work for you. But having time carved out to work on your project every day, I feel like is a really important thing, even if it's just for a little while. Because there are times in our life when we are in survival mode or we're just not feeling good. Yesterday, I had a really crappy day. I just woke up, I was... I had a really hard emotional day, I have those sometimes, it's like a hormone thing that I deal with, and I didn't want to do anything, but I just worked on my editing, editing my book for 30 minutes in the morning, and I did a couple of small things that I just knew I needed to get done, and then I just didn't really get anything else done, and so, um, and that's okay, you know, like, we all have days like that. But that's where, that's where the small habit comes in. If you have a small habit, then, then you can keep your habit even when you are having a bad day or in a hard time of life or you're in a, you know, you're moving or you just had a baby or whatever, you know, that messes up your life or your routine. If you have a small habit, then it works, it works better. So doing that small amount every day is really important, but then it brings us to the, do you need to write words every day? And I'm not sure I actually think you do. Um, right now, I count my writing habit, I edit my book. I print it off the second draft of my book, and every day for 30 minutes, I would read through it, looking for specific things, and marking those specific things in the on the paper of what I printed out and now I'm going through and opening up each chapter and going through and making those edits and changing things and rearranging and writing sometimes I do write new words and add to the scene and sometimes I'm cutting stuff out or going back mostly I'm adding because I am the type of person to underwrite in their first draft and then add with each draft <laughs> at least with my first book I've been that way I, I can see myself being that way with future drafts as well because I actually don't love the actual drafting part as much as editing. Editing is like the funnest thing for me. I wish I could do it all day long, but I do have children, so I can't. So I just keep working at it every single day. And I don't worry that, oh, I'm not working on a new project right now while I'm editing my other one. I'm not writing words right now on my new project while I'm editing my other one. That's fine with me. I count it as my habit. One of the things that I also count towards my writing habit is brainstorming. I, on, when, I'm, when I'm drafting, it's actually really hard for me to sit down and write my 500 words, or sometimes I write more than that, but it's, it's actually really hard for me to sit down and do that most of the time. It um, kind of gives me a little bit of anxiety, I think because I'm worried about it not being good, and that's something that I'm working on and I'm definitely getting better with. But it's also like, I'm very orderly. I like things to be within, you know, but I also love, I love books and I love being 
creative and so it's but it's actually kind of hard for me to be creative excuse me and so what I do is I write Monday through Thursday 500 words so I can get 2,000 words a week because I feel like that's a pretty good goal for someone who's not a full-time writer and then on Saturdays I work on the portion of that I'm uploading to my writing group which is usually something that I've written quite a while ago and then on Fridays I let myself do whatever I want I can brainstorm for my new project I can outline I can edit I can do whatever whatever it is as long as it's writing on my project because even though writing in a journal and doing like free writing and different things like that, those can be really good. I want to be working on my projects because otherwise I put them off and I will pretty much write in my journal and do other things like that without having to force myself to do it. So because my time is so limited for when I can actually sit down and write, I try to make it so that it's moving towards my have towards the projects that I'm working on whether that's the project that I'm currently working on in drafting or editing or the project that I'm brainstorming and looking forward to doing next and those two projects are the ones that I prioritize but I I definitely think that there's something there that that sometimes people say you need to write every day and people go well I can't write every day but I don't actually think that the habit should be write every day. I think it should be work on your book every day. And for some people, because they're different, everybody works different. For some people, that literally might be sitting down somewhere thinking for 30 minutes about their book. Or it might be taking a shower for 30 minutes while they think about their book. And then they do that for three days. And then on the fourth day, they sit down and they write something. You know, it might be a lot of brainstorming. It might be getting together with someone else and talking about your book and brainstorming out loud. There are a lot of different ways that you can work on your project. I just think that having having a habit of doing it every single day will give you better results than spontaneously doing it just when you feel like it, if that makes sense. And I know some people, for some people that really does work for them. And I literally don't understand because my life is so orderly because of my personality that I just need that. I need that structure in my life and so it is hard for me to understand people who are more spontaneous and if you have something that works for you, you know, if you write when you feel like it and you finish books and you're getting better at writing and stuff, that is great and you should keep doing what you're doing. But if you feel like you are not getting where you want to be, if you feel like you're not writing every day if you're not finishing projects then it might be a good idea to look at, at creating some sort of habit and it doesn't have to be the way that I do it because I my process and my personality and my circumstances are probably a lot different than yours at least one of those and so you just can find a way to do it yourself and I guess maybe I do, I'll do a little plug here if you want to check out my video on writing habits. I give a lot of different ideas that I tried to diversify for a lot of different personality types and different situations in life. And you can kind of learn the basics of what makes up a habit so that you can figure out how to make it work for yourself. But I, yeah, I guess the point of this video is just basically that I, I do believe that working on your book every day is powerful because doing small actions consistently leads to really big results, bigger than we could even imagine. And so I think that is a really important thing to do. And like I said, I don't think you have to do it. I just think that it is a, it can have really great effects. And the other point of this video is that writing every day is not necessarily what you have to do to be working on your book every day but that you can count, you can count working on your, you can count writing every day, you can count whatever you want towards it because you don't answer to anyone because you're not working for someone for your book, you're working for yourself. And so, yeah, that's, those are kind of my thoughts and this is a super rambly video so I'm going to uh, sign off now. But if you like these types of rambly videos, let me know in the comments below. Also, let me know what you think your own thoughts about this topic. I would love to have a discussion with you and get that discussion going. And yeah, if you liked this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe 
for lots of writing content and thank you so much for watching my video, especially if you made it to the end.